Good morning! We are at Mesa Overlook. It's August 17th, 2020. Um, the purpose of this video is to give you an overview of some of the key plants that you would expect to find in the pinyon juniper shrubland. So remember this is foothills slash pinyon juniper shrubland. Remember a central theme in this class is how, does the, how do the abiotic factors uh, determine to a large extent the plant distributions um, and the species interactions that we see in each life zone. So think about um, soil texture, soil matrix potential, um, soil nutrients, how the soil quality, this abiotic, is going to determine what kind of plants can grow here. This is a very dry environment, I will tell you that. Um, so some of the key plants that we have in the pinyon juniper shrubland, as the name suggests, are well, actually, let's start with what's right next to me. This is three-leaf sumac. This is Rus trilobata. Um, it is a woody, shrubby species. Okay, so for those of you who took a uh, bio of plants, you know that this has a vascular cambium. This is secondary growth. This is woody. Okay, so this is Rus trilobata. Um, another really common woody species we have in the foothills is um, mountain mahogany, which is right here, okay, and um, Cercocarpus montanus is the scientific name, and the seeds are really cool. They're these like akines that then have this like feathery, um, feathery dispersal mechanism, right, that will help with um, dispersal. So this is mountain mahogany. It's also woody. It's a shrub. Um, behind me, we have Remember, and we also have my son, Kayan, who we, we discovered in the Pinion Juniper Shrubland. Um, here we have Pinus edulis, so this is Pinion Pine. Um, it smells good. It smells good. It's one of the central, you know, most dominant species in the Pinion Juniper Shrubland. And we are going to read a paper on Pinion mortality. Um, so pinion pine is a species we need to keep our eye on in the context of climate change. It is struggling um, all over the southwest. Juniper is another important species, but we can't, we don't have juniper right here next to me. If you look out on Garden of the Gods, you will see up on that ridge there, interspersed juniper with pinion pine. We have three species of juniper. Two of them occur lower down in the foothills, so that would be one seeded juniper, which you'll read about in the paper, the Floyd et al. paper we're going to read, Juniperus monosperma. You also have Rocky Mountain juniper, Juniperus um, scopulorum. And then common juniper, which is more, um, it grows closer to the ground, uh, Juniperus communis. That's up in the montane all the way up into the subalpine at treeline. Okay, so juniper, pinion pine, um, mountain mahogany, three-leaf sumac, these are all important woody species. A non-woody species we have right here is um, yucca, yucca it glauca. Hurts and it's really spiky. It's very spiky. So it hurts? Yes, and it is and very... I just hit my arm. And it is very drought tolerant. Um, doesn't Think have woody growth. There. And yeah, I think that's it for the pinion juniper shrubland video.